Another new hat. It's not a new hat. I've had this hat. Still Saturday. Still snowy. Very windy. I changed my jacket off to this one, but I have a heated vest underneath, which is on, and the wind is just going right through it. Hey, were you messing with that? Can you go get the uh, fence tester? So, I wanted to show you, with this high wind, what has transpired. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to even attempt to fix it, but what I do have to do is take the tarp and cut it because it's right now laying on his electric fence. So that's going to uh, ground it out. So what I have to do is cut that off. And it. So I'm gonna do that now. I guess I'll just leave you guys here. I got that done. Ah, I uh, I wanted to take that down this summer anyways because it's a bit of an eyesore. So that at least got me halfway there. I'm gonna leave this tarp here for right now because it can't blow away with the fence there. It's just too heavy and very much too windy for me to... Yeah, that's <laughs> I would end up in Oz, right? So... I stayed over. Yeah, <laughs> you don't feel like doing that today. All right, we're gonna get on to barn work and I will probably see you guys tomorrow because this will probably be attached to tomorrow's video. Good morning, everybody. Sunday, I uh, looked out the window earlier and I saw Mr. T was out. Well, we came to put him back in and he's in, he's with Rebel here. Well. There's a tree branch that blew out of the tree onto the fence. And uh, it must have just stepped right over it. There we go. I don't have the fence tester to test this to make sure it's good. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna get you're this not branch. Gonna, you're not gonna be the fence tester time. No? Oh, all right. It should be fine. It is uh, hanging up on a couple weeds here and there. Looks pretty good otherwise. I don't see any other branches on it. Whew. So it's not as cold here as it is in other parts of the country. It's uh, about 20 degrees. Nice. Huh? Hi, Rebel. It's about 20 degrees here. Come here. Come say hi. Come here. Come say hi. Are you not going to come to me? <laughs> Could he stretch any further? No? All right. Yeah, yeah, it's about 20 degrees here. And, uh, which isn't terrible. But it sure is windy out. Sure is windy. I'm checking the water hole to make sure it's broke open. I hope wherever you guys are, you're staying warm. I hate mud that's frozen. Well, it's better than it's mud better that's than not frozen. I didn't even know it was supposed to snow here last night. We got lucky though where we are in Pennsylvania because we're just above Pittsburgh on the western. Ooh, that hurt. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, that hard mud. Oh yeah, the water hole's good. Can you see it down there? That's why. Uh, it does look like a cowhead. Yeah, it does. 
that's why the natural springs are the best because that water just keeps moving and uh keeps it from freezing completely so but yeah anyway so we're, we're just north of pittsburgh and we don't always get the lake effect snow that some people are getting and i know new york got blasted so hope everybody is doing good up there got that tarp off yesterday from that building i think i'll I will take the skeleton of that building and I have enough clear plastic and make another greenhouse out of it. Bring it up here. <laughs> it'll be narrow, but it'll it'll house vegetables and that's all that really matters. Morning tank. Now, being as how it's snowy and windy and cold, let's see if we have any babies. Morning, Peach. Morning, Kiwi. We'll have to break this snow. I see uh, we do have some that are bagging up a little bit more, which is good. Excuse me, this isn't your child. Mm. Nope. No more babies. Just the original two. I'm not used to seeing vanilla laying down that tree. Vanilla, if you get any bigger, your sides may just burst. She's huge, y'all. She is huge. And those two little ram lambs are doing great. We'll break up this water. Ah. I guess we could throw the horses out. It's not like wet precipitation it's just nasty wind and cold but we'll put their blankets on them and they'll be fine all right hold this i hate this door any babies in here all right. no no babies okay y'all we're going to uh put the horses blankies on and halters on and <laughs> Put them out and do barn work. Okay, everybody's fed. And I gotta collect the egg real quick. Eggs. Whoa. Okay. They'll freeze and crack if not. Chickens just laid them this morning. But yeah, everybody's been fed and waters have been ooh, waters have been cracked now i do have tank de-icers i can use but uh, i just i don't love using them so i will usually not unless it's going to be like below zero or something for a while okay Everybody's, oh, it's really bright. Everybody's doing really good. Most of the chickens are staying in today because they don't want to be out in the weather. They just don't like snow. It's hilarious when they, when they come out of the coop, they just fly right over the snow. Yeah, they don't like the snow. It drifts right in front of their coop there. Well, guys. I guess that's gonna do it for these quiet um windy snowy days frozen <laughs> winter is finally here although next week it looks like it's gonna be almost 50 again so not a whole lot of winter this year i guess there's not a lot of complaining from the majority of people on that one i like winter i think it's a necessary season and if I didn't live in a state where we had a winter, I'd miss it. <laughs> I would. Anyways, guys, whew, it's bright. The snow. No, it's like <laughs> that. That's going to do it for today, I suppose. Chase, you going to come say goodbye to our friends? You got to back up. There he is. 
We hope you guys have a good day. We hope you guys stay warm. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.